New disturbing details about an 84-year-old man arrested for molesting three children at a local daycare. Yet another wildfire, this time near Bogus Basin, pushes ever-thinning resources to the brink. Hear from the stars of Modern Family as the season premiere is being shot close to home. How this mother is trying to find her daughter's killer and raise awareness in an unusual way. And a weekend three-degree guarantee in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. Through the chilling 911 tapes from the University of Idaho murder. They look really, really good. good. <laughs> I think they look pretty awesome. Plus, we'll reveal the combat uniforms Boise State will debut against Georgia. Kind of a pain in the butt to pay for all the water. It's really expensive. Hot days at the fair, and I'll tell you what people are doing to stay cool. Hurricane Irene is looking like it could be devastating. I'll tell you where it's going to hit and when. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. It's that time of year again, back to school shopping. Definitely want to hang on to as much money as I can. Find out how parents are getting the best bargains. What national cuts to the Postal Service could mean for Idaho. Pepsi Nightfire Nationals. Meet the family that gave it its start and plans to be around to see it's finished. And how to beat the weekend heat in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. Big changes out of Boise State as the athletic department makes a major move. It's the new look for people going into the seventh grade. They're all wearing D's on their arms. We'll tell you why. It was required or she wouldn't be able to start school. Why neighbors are upset over a pit bull attack, not once, but twice. A sister and brother's three-day crime spree comes to an end. See how police cornered them. And will we hit triple digits this weekend? Details in my precision forecast. Live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. Lights, camera, action. Why Hollywood wants to make a movie about this Boise man. Why would you burn down a playground? It's sad. You can still swing on the swing set, but that's about it. Hear from the kids who had their playground burned in the night. I think it's becoming more and more popular. We'll take a look at the potential of green cars in Idaho. Plus, the sights and sounds from opening night at the Caldwell Night Rodeo. And see if we can expect a change in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. Wall Street takes another dive. See which stocks were hit worst. From protests to union backlash, we go one-on-one -on -one with Idaho's head of education and talk to him about what's in store for the coming school year. Two students who were involved in the car surfing accident over the weekend speak out exclusively to Channel 6 News. Find out what they had to say about the accident. With fall practice underway, Coach Pete talks about how he thinks his team will do this season. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. New information on four hikers found after a massive air and land search. This is a funny looking gas pump. Find out how it's putting money back in Idahoans' pockets. Thinking about the steps sitting there collecting dust, I thought, hey, let's go get it. Thinking about cashing in on your gold jewelry? Find out what you need to know. Tonight, more reaction to Boise State firing the man behind the blue. And if you've got weekend plans, don't miss a three degree guarantee in my precision forecast. Live at 10. We investigate the growing list of supplies kids need before they start school. Wounded Idaho vets gather for the first class of a new program. We'll tell you how it works. Find out why 60 college students will be going in and out of this hotel throughout the year. Huge Idaho weekend. Rodeo in Caldwell, Lumberjacks in Garden City, and... Plus, find out the one word Coach Pete is using to motivate his players. And don't miss my three degree guarantee in a scorching weekend precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. One of the FBI's oldest cases has a new lead. D.B. Cooper's alleged niece speaks out about her infamous uncle. Everybody's got a cart, but find out why one in four aren't fixing them when they're broken. Tonight, we'll take you inside the rail at the Treasure Valley Race Place and introduce you to a journeyman horse owner who's come back home looking to find his stride. Find out what this red flag warning for tomorrow means for you in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. These are sickening scenes. More on the chaos in the streets of London as the rioting continues. Plus, a message this war veteran has for other soldiers after combat. 
There are people who are saying this party or this state should have a zero tolerance policy for public officials. Will Canyon County Republicans hold Senator McGee accountable for his DUI arrest? And another heat wave for the Valley with a three degree guarantee in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10. Tonight, live at 10 on today's Channel 6 News. It's not right. They paid that and they should get that money. See what changes are in store for your Social Security benefits. Plus, how pay to play has brought a school and a team together. This man charged with brutally murdering three people now faces the justice system in Idaho. Find out why more and more consignment shops are popping up in Boise. And temperatures nearing the century mark will have you seeking shade in my precision forecast. Tonight, live at 10.